Hello, this is episode one of Jayco's FTB Unleashed Let's Play series. So, I'm going to first create a world. This will be Jayco's. That. Let's play season one. So I'm going to not turn any of this on, except for generate structures, and then I'll create the world. So, the FTB Unleashed, I'll probably get started by making a base and then mining, and then probably get started with Thomcraft first. And I'll probably skip through most of that. So, just waiting for the world to generate. Okay, see we have this Materials and You book. It's from Tinker's Construct. And, looks like we spawned in a plains biome. That's a pretty nice biome. So, first of all we need, like, we need some wood. Is this an island? I hope this isn't an island. But here are some blueberry bushes so that I can grow food. So I'll uh, get these. Oh, and by the way, start. Sorry about the static. I can't exactly figure out how to get rid of that. Th everything I tried didn't work. So there will be static in the videos. Okay, there are some trees. So I'll go cut down those at trees, and then work on building a base, I guess. Not very much to talk about. So, this mod pack has Tinker's Construct, Domcraft, Thermal Expansion, Buildcraft, and like a million other mods. Probably about a hundred more. So, once so, I'll be right back once I've got this wood. So, I'm back now, and I cut down a few trees. A and, now I'm going to get some wooden planks, probably get a crafting table. And, just place that on the ground where I'm going to build my base. So, I'll place it right here. And, I'll make a few, a few tools. So, now I'll just make a, an axe so I can cut down more trees, and I'll be right back after I cut those. Okay, so, I cut down a few trees, and now I'm going to build the base. So, I'll just uh, make it, I guess, I'm not exactly sure what size I'll make it. I'll just go with whatever it happens to turn out now, and then I'll that make it better later. So, I guess this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have an 8 by 9 house, and I'll build a door right here. Now I'll do this. Oh, and there's all and one of the other mods is inventory tweaks, which you just saw. When you run out of a stack of items, it brings another one there to replace it if you have any in your inventory. That also works with tools. Like if one's just about to break, it, it replaces it with a full tool of the same type. So if it's a different type, it won't work. But if it's the same type of tool, it will. So I'm almost done with my house. I'll, I'll, I'll skip ahead to when it's finished. Okay, guys, I'm back now. And just so you know, I'll, I'll be recording on on a schedule. I'll record 
during the weekend, and I'll post the episodes during the week. Yeah, so, expect a tutorial on Thursday, and Let's Play episodes on every other uh, day, except Saturday and Sunday. So that's w w when I plan to be recording. So here's the house. I'm going to make a couple tools so that I can get started. And probably a sword too. So then, I I like to have my tools arranged like this on my hotbar, and have the food here and torches here, and cobblestone, water bucket, and whatever along here. That's just how I like to have my inventory arranged. So I'll be mining and. I'll come back after I've mined for a little bit. So... Okay, so now I'm going to uh, make a couple of uh, cool things that are that are newly added by these mods. You see, first you need to get some blank patterns. Then you need to make a crafting table and you craft a blank pattern on top of it that gets you the tool station another one is a, a wooden plank with a blank pattern on top of it that gets you the stencil table and there's also one with a wood block on top of it which I don't have so I'll get a wood block and you put the wood block on top of it and you get the part builder doesn't have to be uh, doesn't have to be that type of wood. It can be any type of wood. It's just the legs will be the legs of the table will be different. So, oh, and there's one more thing that you can make. There's a chest. And in case you didn't know this already, this is the mod Tinker's construct. So, I'll break this block here, put the pattern chest down. So, stencil table, tool station, and... Oh wait, that's wrong. It goes stencil table, part builder, and then tool station. So, put this, the, bank, the blank patterns in the stencil table, and it's causing lag. I'll do that. So, you go to the stencil table, you put the stencils in, then you can get different patterns. So I'm going to make all of these different patterns. Let's see, a wide guard. I'm not going to get either of these, these are for different types of swords. So then a tool binding pattern. And one more thing. Uh, not that. Once I find it, I'll find it eventually. Okay, here it is. Tool rod pattern. So, those are the uh, seven patterns that I need right now. So, I'm putting those in there. And, if you look in the materials and you book, it will tell you information about different things in the mod. It'll tell you how to make those things. The part crafter, the pattern chest, the tool station, and eventually the tool forge will not be... We won't be making that yet. We'll make that a lot later. But you can also craft the book and get volume 2 by putting it in the crafting grid if you want to. And you can also get the final book by doing that. Uh, but but, of course, you can also get the different books by crafting certain things. So, this is how you make the seared bricks. First, you need to make grout with sand, gravel, and clay. That makes two grout. Then you smelt that in the furnace to get a seared brick. Then you can craft it into a bigger seared brick. And then uh, you can make a smeltery controller, drain, lava tank, glass, window, faucet, or casting table. 
or you can make a casting basin. So, I I won't be getting that to that yet, but there's also this book. This will tell you how to make the different tools. So for the pickaxe, you need the pickaxe head, the tool rod, and the tool binding. And it'll also tell you what you need for the other tools. There's the long sword, there up here. The dagger, frying pan, battle sight and chisel, hammer, lumber axe. Oh, and these are the tools that you can make once you get the upgraded tool station. So you can't make those yet. There's the excavator, the scythe, cleaver, and battle axe. Short bow and arrow you can make it the normal one. And then th this tells you all the different materials. To work with metal materials, you'll need a, a smeltery to make the different parts. I'll get to that once we get to that part. So there's flint, cactus, bone, obsidian, alumite, netherrack, blue slime, green slime, slimy mud, slime crystal, paper, paper stack, cobalt, aridite, vanillion. This is the best material. It, it might take quite a while for me to get that. There's copper, bronze, steel, and here's the modifiers. You can combine these two tools to add effects to the tools. So a diamond that lets you mine obsidian with it, and it gives it 500 extra durability. The emerald gives it 50% more durability, and if it's lower than level 2, it, it upgrades to level 2, which is iron, so it can mine things like diamond and lapis. You can also add redstone to make the pickaxe mine faster, and moss to make it automatically regenerate uh, when it automatically repairs itself, especially in the sunlight. Of course, it's very slow. There's the lava crystal, which makes it automatically smelt the item, so, like, if you mine iron ore with it, uh, you get an iron ingot. Then, here's how you make the different things. There's also lapis, uh, which uh, gives you the fortune enchantment on it if you add enough. There's sharpness, there's a lot of them. So, now, I'm going to uh, make a pickaxe. So, first of all, you see this says the material cost is 0 0.5, so that only took half of the cobblestone, so it gave me a stone shard. So I can use that for this because this is always point. This is also 0.5. So you get a stone rod from that. So then, I'm going to uh, make a couple other things. These are both material cost one. So, it, it'll take a, an entire piece of cobblestone to get those. So, then, I'm going to make a few more tool rods. So, There, I have uh, three... No, wait, I want to make one more. So there, now I have four tool rods. I'm going to make a sword also. So this is... This material cost is half, so it only takes half of cobblestone to get that. So now I'm going to make the sword blade. And one final thing, the shovel. So there. Now I have all those things. I'm going to put these together at this station. See, I've got a pickaxe, a shovel, uh, an axe, and one final thing broadsword. You can also give these custom names. So I'm calling this Taco Sword. So there, I've got a full set of these tools. 
And the nice thing about these is they never break. You just have to repair them. So, like, if this had no durability left, you could just add a piece of cobblestone like that. But you see right now it doesn't work because it already is full durability. So that would repair it. At least some. So I'll put away these old tools in the chest. See, I was mining for a while. And... Now I'm going to go mine more so that I can get more materials like iron, which which I actually haven't found yet. So, I'll be back. Okay, I started recording again to show you this part right here. This is, this drops air shard, which is a part of Thomcraft. There are all sorts of different crystals for these. There's air, earth, water, fire, and magic. And you need them to do various things in Thomcraft. See, when you hold shift over any item, if it has uh, an if it has any aspects, it will show them. So this has this has air, movement, magic, and crystal. So I'm going to continue mining. I'll be back. So now would be the perfect time to show you broken tools, because see. My pickaxe is broken. That's what happens when it runs out of durability. You can see it doesn't even mine anything it normally would as fast as your fist. It's just almost completely useless. I think if you mine enough, it will break and give you cobblestone. But if it only works if you're that patient. So I'm going to show you it will still be give me cobblestone. See, it gave me cobblestone. But is broken. So, what you do is you put it in there, you put whatever material uh, the, the main part is made out of, so that would be the pickaxe head for this. So, it's made out of stone, so I'm putting cobblestone here, and it gives me a pickaxe uh, fully repaired. So, you can take these tool stations with you anywhere you go, and they'll, and they'll be very helpful. Okay, I'm gonna keep mining that. Okay, I'm back now, so I'm going to make a special item that will help us double the ore output. So, you need... No, not like that. Like this. Then you put cobblestone there. And then you need that. And I think I got the rest of you wrong. Um, okay, grindstone. Okay, I got it opposite of where it was supposed to. So, put stone here. You put the wood gear here. You put this dust here. If it's quartz dust, you get it by mining quartz. And then you have the grindstone. So then you place that. You open it, and then you just get your ores from in here, and I need a little bit more wood. Let's see if I can go outside and survive. Oh, and by the way, I got these TNT cards while mining. It was in one of the, it was in one of the chests in the abandoned mine shaft. Pretty strange. So, you just get sticks and put them like that. Then you, then you get the wooden crank. Put that on top. Then you just keep turning it and turning it and turning it. By right clicking. So then you open and you see the iron ore is getting ground up and eventually it becomes pulverized iron or iron dust. 
but in this case, pulverized iron. So, each iron ore gets you two pulverized iron, and you smelt uh, the pulverized iron to get one iron and get per pulverized. So I'm going to just keep cranking in. With the camera, uh, with the camera that I'm using, Bandicam, uh, you can only record for ten s t for ten minutes when it's unregistered, and mine is unregistered. Uh, so, uh, so sometimes, so every ten minutes, I have to skip a, a tiny bit to start recording again. And in case you're wondering, uh, that's what had happened. Uh, there were two pulverized iron in there, and suddenly became four. That's because I didn't notice that I had gone to the ten minute mark. So I'm going to be putting the thirty minute episodes up on YouTube uh, each day. So I'll be recording one hour on Saturday and one hour on Sunday. And and then I'll put uh, I'll put tutorial Thursday up on Thursday and nothing up on Saturday or Sunday as I said earlier so let's see how much there is see now there's 22 pulverized iron and, and we started with just 18 iron ore so that's a very very good deal so I'm just gonna keep turning this a little so smelt that like, like you would normal iron ore and it'll give you double the ore output you would normally get I mean each pulverized iron will get you one iron in it so this this grindstone is a very useful thing for doubling your ore output very very useful why is there green powder? how do you get that? looks like poison I think it's poison So, see, it's very easy to get iron. Of course, again, I said this before, you cannot get iron tool parts like this. You have to have a smeltery, which I will get to pretty soon, actually. Probably in the next episode. So, I'm going to go outside. Oh, spoilers bag. That's something that drops from mobs. And I have some bones. I know that there are some wolves in this area. So, see, here's a wolf. So, I'm gonna try and tame it. Aww. But you see, spoils bags. They can have random loot in them. And it just so happens that I got a steel test plate. As soon as you loot them, uh, they disappear and you can't put things back in them. A bucket of force. We'll get to that later. But see, now I have some armor. And I couldn't take a wolf. Maybe there's some that stuff somewhere else. So see? Blueberries. You can grow blueberries like this. Plus, once uh, a blueberry bush has fully grown, it'll grow another one on top of it up to three tall. So you could also just harvest this and place it there to extend the path, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a path with these blueberry bushes so that it's safe to travel around in this world. Oh, and there are these. These are also from Tinker's Construct. See, it's a blue slime, and when it dies, there's it always leaves only one blue slime. I don't know what happened and why it it didn't leave a medium-sized blue slime. I think it's because it's daytime. So... I don't have very much food right now. Oh, and these are beehives. They'll be used a lot later for bee stuff. Which, of course, I haven't got any. I'm going to change the render distance to normal because fire is too slow. the ocean. Here's the ocean. There's a bit of sugar cane that'll probably be growing. So I brought the sugar cane down. 
there's there are lots of chickens here. This must be like a chicken biome or something. And bones. This is what I of course or I can try to tame a wolf again. Am I on an island? I better not be on an island. If I'm on an island... Uh, let's see... Another cave... So, copper. That can be used to make bronze, or... Oh, well, just a ton of other things. Oh, and apparently I got some copper from the spoils bag. I don't know which mod the spoils bag is added by, but I suspect it's Tinker's Construct. Oh, so here are some raspberries. Oh, and in case you didn't know, all the berries you can eat even when you're full, and they'll give you saturation. In case you don't know what saturation is, it just tells how long you can go that without becoming hungry again. So if you eat a lot of fruit, it, it'll just take a very long time for you to get hungry again. So I'm going to eat as much as I can. I believe there is a limit to how much you can eat. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Apparently I have reached it yet, but I'll, now I have some raspberry bushes. Okay. I'm just finding eggs and chickens everywhere. You'd think that they were leaving the eggs behind. Okay, let's see. Here's a, another chicken. I guess it is good that there are chickens nearby, but it's also but it's bad that I'm on an island. At least I think I'm on an island. I haven't checked in this direction yet. Let's see if I can tame this wolf. Okay, no, I don't. Oh, look, like there are also pigs. So, pigs, wolves, and chickens so far. Let's see what, a, what other mobs there are on this island. Oh, you see that tree in the distance? That is a, another type of tree. I think it's acacia. I'll have to go over and check. See, so we're in a plains biome over here. Oh, some cows. That's good. So, you know, this is eucalyptus. The pink wood. Which tells you that if you craft it, you get pink wood planks. So, just in case I. I ever need pink or anything for any decorative purposes. I can get it around here. Looks like also a snow biome way over there. I still haven't explored the whole island. Just lots of grassy fields everywhere. So I wonder if this actually is an island. Oh, here is some marble. Or no, that's quarried stone. I still don't know what mod that's from. Probably Seeker's Construct. If you don't know what mod it's from, it's probably from Seeker's Construct. Well, that is if I don't. So. It's, a, it's about time for this episode to be over, so... Yeah. So leave comments. Leave comments telling me advice that I might need to know. Uh, we've got a nice little island here. Like, tell me what I should do next. What mods I should try using. Any of that stuff. And don't say bees. I'm not ready for bees. Uh. And remember, this is. This is FTB Unleashed. So, um, just about done with this episode. Uh, bye.